Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install llama.cpp on Linux and macOS uh, and how to run a local large language model, so a local AI model that you've downloaded uh, from Hugging Face. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go here into your browser and copy paste the link that I've left in the description down below and hit enter and as you can see this is the llama.cpp github page so now once you're on this page just scroll down scroll down to building the project right here and it should say on macOS or Linux install llama.cpp click on this link we're going to be installing this using Homebrew because Homebrew is available on both macOS and Linux and it's pretty easy to install. So firstly, let's go over here to Homebrew. Just type in Homebrew install. It should take you to this page, brew.sh. I will have this as well on the, uh, in the description down below and just copy paste this. Now go to your terminal. In my case, I'm going to be using Kitty as my terminal. Now just copy paste it on Linux to copy paste it into the terminal. You should do Control Shift V. Uh, on Mac OS, it might be a little bit different. You might have to try Command Shift V or just Command V until it copy pastes the link into the terminal. And on macOS, you can obviously just search for terminal. So then hit enter. And now it should go through the whole process of installing Homebrew. And, and it should just do everything basically on its own. And this might take a little bit. Anyway, once Homebrew has installed on your computer, you can then go over here. And you can go and do brew install llama.cpp. So you can just copy paste that, go back to your terminal and then hit enter. And you should see something like this pop up. So in my case, I already have it downloaded, uh, but it's outdated. So it's just going to redownload it and update it in this case. But for you, it should just install it on, on its own. So there we go. As you can see, it's installing everything. Uh, it's doing everything and there we go we have installed llama.cpp now the next step is to go and actually use uh, llama.cpp with a local large language model that we've downloaded off of hugging face so in order to do that let's go to hugging face now so go into your browser here and type in mistral 7b quantized this is the model that we're going to be using for this tutorial. You can obviously go and find a different model if you prefer. The main important thing is that you find a model that has a GGUF file. That's the big thing that you need to find is a model with a GGUF file. So once you've gone and done that, uh, I recommend checking out which of these specific models you want. In my case, I am going to be using uh, the more large low quality mo loss model uh, this one so click on the link there head over here and click on download and it should start downloading over here in your browser and this may take a little bit of time as you can see this is 4.7 gigabytes uh, in size so it's a fairly large file um, but it will hopefully be worth it when it gets downloaded alright so now that I've downloaded uh, the file the GGUF file I have put it into a folder uh, that I've just called AI models you can do the same thing if you want and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my terminal and I am going to uh, just cd into my folder so change directory that's what cd stands for so do cd documents and then 
AI models. Now this is just for my um, computer where I have made this AI models folder. You can do the same thing. And uh, if you have a different named folder, then you're going to have to CD into a differently named folder. So once you've done that in your terminal and you're in your folder, you can do ls to show that the file is really there. And now the next step is actually running the llama CLI. So now go back to your browser and copy paste this link, uh, which is just, you can find this as well by just going back over here to llama and then going here to llama CLI and then clicking on this. And then as you can see here, you have a lot of examples of uh, different things that you can input in the command line uh, and different and different prompts and stuff that you can you can use if you want to so let's go if I go to my terminal and now what I do is I say llama dash CLI and then I'm gonna do minus M for model and I'm gonna say mistral 7b and this has to be exact. You have to match this exactly. And then you can give it a prompt. And let's just say, for example, the classic prompt, how many R's in the word strawberry? Whoops. Should be minus. And there we go. You can see it has started up, and hopefully, this goes through. As you can see, it was quite slow. I didn't let it run all the way because it was uh, quite slow in this case. But if you experiment a little bit with the um, the actual options here, you can experiment with a little bit with it. One other cool thing that you can try is you can use llama server and then minus m and then if you go here to this local host You see you have a nice little uh, conversational thing that you can do. Now in my case, it's pretty slow on uh, my computer, this model. Um, there are other models that you can try out like Gemma 3 that might be a bit faster on your machine, depending on how many parameters uh, you use. Uh, but yeah, overall, that's how to use Llama.cpp on macOS and Linux and how to install it on macOS and Linux. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, please like and subscribe if you found it to be useful.